Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here at my home here in Zudesia Zoo! Look at my beautiful sign! Even after all these months, I am still so absolutely pleased with just how beautiful this sign is! Oh, we should take Pablo a random thank you gift, Tate! We really should! I kind of want to cook him something right now as a random thank you gift! But speaking of gifts, we actually have, from what I hear, a pretty full mailbox. So I do want to dive in and be able to see what's hiding inside of our mailbox today as well. So, all right. Oh my goodness, you guys. Welcome back to Zoo Crafting. Welcome back to the zoo where there is always so much to do. And today we are going to be focused. You hear me, Pi or Tate, excuse me? Focused. I'm going to get something done today. And the thing we're going to get done today is set up the summer garden. One of my favorite things to do, take care of our garden so that our Akis will be able to harvest up some summer crops instead of their kind of spring to summer crops that they have been working on for a very, very long time now. In fact, I think we almost have too many of those crops. So we're going to go check out the paper pantry, see how many of the crops they have harvested, and we are going to swap out all of the things they're currently working on for summer crops because that'll be even better stuff to be able to make gifts for our friends. So I'm really excited about that. Also, thank you, little hedgehog. The hedgehog has been giving us so many plants. Look at all of these plants I have to plant. And I really, really love the effect of having an ambient animal like the hedgehog. And every time the hedgehog drops one of the flower seeds or gives us like one of the little plants, it's really fun just to turn right around from wherever you're at and just like put it down more or less immediately dun to do and let's move this over a little bit and it just makes it feel kind of like naturalistic it just it's a really fun feeling to watch as because of the hedgehog we end up with all of these new plants in our yard so i really really loved having the little ambient animals i really hope we'll get a chance to work on the project we talked about yesterday and it was real fun to see how many of you guys were excited about that too but the project we talked about yesterday will be like series native plants and wildlife um, I hesitate to say society, but maybe it could be society or series native plants and wildlife garden. And then what I can do is go and landscape at other people's houses and kind of set up these really cute gardens. And then we can put in ambient animals like the hedgehog, or maybe if you want ambient squicken, who am I to judge? Or if you want ambient creepers, I guess. I mean, we're open to all of requests. So I need to whip up some sort of cute little business like that, Tate, and let everybody else know that I will add in ambient animals and the landscaping and the environment that they need so I mean what would I do for a creeper who knows <laughs> who knows that would be kind of interesting I hope nobody requests like an ender dragon that would be a little bit overdone I'm thinking more like like you know an ambient mole or something like that that'll kill you roots but you know I'll just have to see what people suggest all right but yes we are going to be digging in our mailbox but before we do that I really do need to clear up some of the stuff in my inventory and make a little bit of space I still have my pockets totally overflowing with the picnic that we went on which was so much fun with Mara and Edson there we go put all of that away and Nirne all right and then what should I do with my armor hmm I almost need should I just put it in my backpack for now? Oh gosh, I have so much stuff in my backpack from the picnic. How could I have forgotten? Oh my goodness, look at all of this picnic stuff. Walnut pecan pie, I am so eating that. Are you kidding me? That's gonna be my lunch today. I still have all of this food. There's still so much. Okay, Tate Pine, hang on. We've got to do, oh my goodness, and all of our butterflies. We've got so much to do in the zoo. All right, and I'm actually going to leave these butterfly nuts here. And the magnifying glass and the butterfly encyclopedia can go up in here as well. And then let's see. Oh my gosh. <gasps> these are where all the butterflies we caught win. I totally forgot they were in my bag. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, and then when we were out on that amazing picnic, which was so much fun, by the way. If you haven't seen that, you definitely need to go and enjoy the picnic together. Like get yourself a little bowl of watermelon and some lemonade before you jump in because it was so cute. But there we go. We went to Edson's area, and Edson's area is fantastic for finding butterflies. So I, I'm kind of eager to maybe pop over there again with his permission and just like run around his land catching butterflies because that would be a really, really fun way to spend the day. But we caught some small white females, large white females, some moths. We caught some purplish coppers. We caught some commas. We caught some purple coppers. Oh, this is a purple copper female. Oh, we have a purple couple of female and a male. Very interesting. And with the butterfly encyclopedia, you can actually whip this thing open and learn quite a bit about all of those different guys so what is the purplish copper so this butterfly can be used for re researching eight new species Ooh. so can i learn anything about oh yeah look at that 
The purplish copper is found from Great Lakes area to Britain, Columbia, sur uh, south to Baja, California. Okay, so it is a kind of U.S. based. It is usually the commonest in Western Canada. Okay, so North America. It varies in abundance from year to year. It is rare and local in Ontario. Ontario, even. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. Distributed along roadsides and open fields. What meadows, marshes, stream sides, and valleys? Upper side of male is brown. Okay. Hindwing. Wow, this is really, this is really detailed. All right, and that's the purplish copper male. All right, same sort of details. I wonder what they eat. So it feeds on all flowers. So it must just feed on flowers in real life too. But there's your real life factoid for the day, my friend. So now you can say you know a little bit more about the purplish copper butterfly. Happens to be very common in uh, Canada. So there we go. All right, so that means we can move on to doing some other things. I have so much food. All right, I definitely have too much food. Let's dig through our packs and see all of the leftover. Oh my goodness, Tate, just because I said I have a lot of pine, Tate, boys. Just because I said I have a lot of food doesn't mean you can get into our little fridge chest and start eating it. You have puppy food. People food is not puppy food, okay? Oh my goodness. But yeah, let's dig through and see what we have food-wise hiding in our pack. The spring onion of friendship soup, the nibble of nuts mushrooms, raspberry pie. I picked a peach, which was really cool. The star fruit smoothies, chunky peanut smoothies, really cool. Oh, some of these things we were saving to give to Edson and everybody else's gifts. Oh my gosh. Now there's so many new people and I need to give all of those new people gifts too. There's so much, so much going on. Oh my goodness, Tate, it's quite amazing. Jungle bites, apricot bites, um, anything else? I think we're good. Oh, whew. All right, and I do need to make some coconut trees. I don't think I have any coconut trees, Tate. We definitely need some coconut trees. All right, so let's put some of these finished foods away. And I'm pretty much just putting the finished foods away. Like this would be baked goods, the baked goods store. I'm eating that walnut pecan pie. You can stay right there and walnut pecan pie. Um, so that's like baked goods and then salads actually are I'm trying to put salads up here Spring onions of friendship soup. That sounds like it could be salad -y. and then we have a green pea green uh, Spring green chickpea sandwich, which sounds amazing. I can't wait to be building uh, our little picnic pickup shop that we're gonna make That's gonna be really fun, too And then all of these drinks peach smoothies chunky peanut smoothie. That sounds really good. Actually What would I want with the walnut pecan pie? Why not the chunky peanut smoothie? We'll go with that and then all of this is ice cream and then blueberry smoothie. I'll put that away too. So we can tuck the ice cream. Am I putting ice cream in here? Or no, I'm putting it in the freezer. That's what I thought. All right, so we'll tuck all of that away. Phew. Oh man, it's so much easier when there's proper places for everything to go. Oh, I love that. And we're just gonna put everything away for now. And then in the future, we will kind of wind back down and dig through items and give things away as gifts. But goodness gracious, just so much has been going on. All right, so let's go ahead and clear out our inventory and then we're gonna go check on our gifts. We're gonna go check on our gifts. I'm so excited. I'm gonna stick the fish in here for now too. Oh yeah, and then Edson gave us this gift too. So this is a gift from Edson and it had a whole bunch of flowers in it, which I really love. And it is a small little backpack. And these little backpacks are actually what you guys have suggested to use for the picnic pickup shop. So people can get the backpack. You can basically pick up the backpack and leave behind the payment for uh, whatever's inside. The backpack is the picnic items. At our picnic pickup shop that we're going to be building over at the temperate forest area of our zoo sounds adorable we're going to put the like grizzly bear and the black bear exhibits kind of near it to sort of be a play on yogi the bear but we'll use these bags for the picnic pickup shop and then people will just like empty the bag of the food and then put the bag away and then we'll recycle the bags that way. So I like it. Reusable bags instead of the packages because the packages from the Mr. Crayfish's mod was what we were going to use originally. But with the backpacks, we have a little bit more space to make it look really nice and we can even put in some wool, like some red and white wool to make it look like a little picnic blanket that you have your little food set out on, which I think is so cute. So we're going to be doing that for sure. Sure. Good job, Tate. Oh, I thought you were trying. I think he was just like chewing on the potatoes. Well, don't let the Aki see you do that. I don't think they'd be a little bit cranky. They are very proud about their uh, their little garden there. All right, so we've got the herbs I need to put away. Whew. All right, let's tuck these flowers away. Let's put the herbs away and then let's see what kind of gifts we have from our friends and get a move on with some of our other projects because I do need to get into this garden. They're busy, busy, busy taking care of this garden and I need them to be taking care of like just the right things. Herbs, you can go in here for now and I'll just sort you later in the pantry. Oh, and then we'll, we'll peek at the pantry in a second. It's probably overflowing with all of these foods, which is why we need to make cute little food stands. 
and we can make food Fridays I'm actually thinking every Friday and a lot of you guys love this idea But what do you think about every Friday Tate? I will do my best my best to have a zoo kitchen a zoo kitchen where we just cook with whatever food we have available and we supply them either into the food stands or we go out and we prepare food for our various animals. I think it would be so much fun. So let me know what you guys think about that. And let's go ahead and finally check on the mail. Jude, how are you? I'm so excited about the idea of building the Enderman Forest Village and making the Enderman houses giant pumpkins. That sounds like it would be really cute. All right. And let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Jude! Jude, are you aware of the sheer amount of whatnots there's inside of this? What on earth? Okay, hang on here. This is a really nice layout. This is why I love having these as mailboxes because when you make these as mailboxes, you can totally lay everything out really fun and make it a fun surprise visually for whoever digs through all of these items. It's like when you wrap a pretty little bow on top of a present. That's what this is like. All right, so we've got this gigantic, amazing stack of stuff to go through. We have a stunning, what is that? I'm gonna have to see. Okay, so ooh, ooh, there's our stuff, there's our stuff. Okay, you guys ready? All right, this is, you're invited. Ah, it's from Kay. Oh my gosh, she has been so busy. Look at all of this stuff. All right, let's read the notes from Kay. Oh my goodness, and we have to put this dandelion down really quick. I hope, I hope you're okay with that, Jude. I think he's gonna make me pull up the dan, they're not weeds. I almost said the dandelion weeds, and then I turned around and, oh, I have offended the hedgehog. I turned around and he was staring at me with those eyes and then then he just poofed away. I love the dandelions. In fact, it would be really fun when it does come time to pick up these dandelions and put them away if we actually made it so we could go to another wild crafting NPC, kind of like our awesome NPC down by uh, down by where we're going to put the butterfly exhibit and we could turn the dandelions into dandelion juice or we could turn it into dandelion salad. I actually Actually saw at the farmer's market a few days ago dandelion jelly so I read the ingredients because I was like are you kidding me really but yes it was dandelion jelly and what they did is they got actual dandelions and they got dandelion juice from the dandelions and turned it into dandelion jelly I really maybe I'll have to buy a bottle so check the vlog channel to see if I've bought a bottle in the future to try it out because it definitely had my eyebrows up in the air so there's that all right and let's see what Kay has to say but yeah we might do that when the time comes to clear up the dandelions and switch to maybe some autumn sort of things that our little ambient hedgehog may leave us. And our ambient hedgehog may actually hibernate through the winter too. So we'll, we'll, we'll check in on it. All right, so you're invited. Hi-yo from Gamer K. I'd like to invite you over to the Shire Islands for a visit. I finished building my home and I'm ready to receive visitors. Pardon the weeds, I'm still at war with them. Evil weeds. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Maybe we should give her a goat. Goats are fantastic for getting rid of weeds. That would be really fun to give someone just a goat as a present. Hi, Osiri. I thought I'd drop by to leave your invite to my islands. Also, a few presents that I found as I've been setting up my home. Some have been found in the caves and some have been found while adventuring, and I thought you'd like them. Oh, that's so sweet of her. So let's see what we have over here. Beautiful amber shard. Gorgeous fluorite shard. So many flowers. Oh, look, more dandelions. Oh, and there's lilies. I love the lilies and the sea oats. Oh, I'm a big fan of these goldenrods too. <gasps> Bird of paradise. Those are one of my favorite things. I really want to set up a tropical greenhouse pretty soon. That would be quite fun. Basil seeds, dill seeds, sage seeds, parsley seeds. Perfect. Bassanite ore, zebra ore. Look at how pretty these are. Onyx ore, rhodocendria ore, oh, prairie grass, blueberries, the short ray fleabane, which I think would be really fun if you could gather up fleabanes and you could actually turn them into like a potion or something and splash your dogs with it. That would be kind of cool. All right, so let's gather all of these up and then we'll put them away. And we'll tuck them into our plant chest. All right, is that all I can carry? I can carry this too. Well, we'll leave the seeds here and then I'll tuck the seeds in elsewhere. And we'll put our little our little books away. And then we'll look at the second very interesting gift that somebody has left for us. So let me see, and we'll tuck this right there, and we'll tuck this right there. Oh, this is so exciting. There's so many people, and there's actually a couple more people on the way. So it's very, it's very, very fun. Very fun to bring this world totally to life and be able to see people come visit more and be able to go visit other people more and start doing more events. Uh, things are just gonna get better and better, you guys. Okay, you guys getting hungry? All right, Tate and Pine, hang on. 
I happen to have some zombie jerky. It's the best I've got right now. Don't worry. We will be starting dog quest hopefully every Sunday as well. So that'll be coming back too. And that means the dogs will have an opportunity to get a good bath. They'll have an opportunity to go ahead and get, uh, get some new treats from the little doggy bakery. And you guys will be able to help me out. And if you haven't seen Dog Quest, I highly recommend it. There's a little bit of role-playing elements with the Cloud Phoenix in it. And we also do a special event where you guys get to vote in the Dog Quest episodes on a straw poll to take the dogs on a very special walk. And those special walks mean that they can find all sorts of unique items, which is so cool. It's very random. I have a gigantic random generator I use for those unique walks. And it's really fun because you never know what your dog is going to bring back to you. All right, so we're going to come over here. Let's clear all of this up. All right, really quickly. There we go. And just empty this puppy out there. Little flea beans, some blueberries. Um, and now I'm I'm overflowing with stuff again. Let's put some of the stuff away. I really don't need. I can't. Don't ever put a backpack in a backpack. You will crash everything. I'm glad I stopped myself just then. Uh, let's see. And anything else? I guess I can just tuck the oars away for now. I really do need a gigantic sorting system, don't I? That's the only way I'm going to find peace at this rate. Peace with being able to get everything done. And then we can just turn right around and we can go plant these herbs into the herb garden. But let's go ahead and see what this is. Oh my gosh! Hey! It's from... It's from... Our sloth friend, the irate sloth. Another new member. Oh my goodness. And you guys, just a second. Look at this. Man, our world is so beautiful. But another new member, so the irate sloth. Dear Siri, I have little to offer in the terms of physical gifts at the moment, but what I can give is my thanks. Huge thanks for letting me join the server and be a part of this awesome adventure. I'm so excited for what is to come. And by the way, if you haven't checked out the irate sloth's like Twitter yet, you totally need to because he is working in the field as like a biology researcher right now. And he always has these really amazing pictures of plants that just make my jaw drop. He has awesome macro shots of plants. Oh my goodness, they're so cool. Oh my goodness. So that's really fun. I'm leaving with you this geo. They can help you see uh, the whole picture when challenges are tough and help you come to good decisions. All the best with your upcoming move from your friendly sloth, Jacob. Oh my gosh. Where am I going to put this? I want it to go in a really amazing place. I've got to think about this. I need to set it up just right. I kind of want to put it next to like here for some reason. Like, because it's right next to... Okay, and we've got all of the mail so I can close that. But where am I going to put... Oh, hey, little hedgehog. Your weeds are fine. I promise. I love dandelions. They're not pest plants. You're not a pest. So you you give me all the dandelions you want. Here, I have I have a dandelion from my friend Kay. And I'm going to put it right down here just to prove to you that I like dandelions. So there you go, little guy. All right, where am I going to put this? I'm really excited. Oh, and I'm hungry. All right, walnut pecan pie. Got to nibble this. So what am I going to do with this amazing sculpture? If I was an amazing sculpture of a geode, where would I want to go? The laboratory. I know it seems like a little bit of an out of the way place. Oh, it means I forgot. I need to deal with the, f oh boy. Has this spread some more? All right, you guys better not have messed. Happy birthday. Oh, bleh. ah, no. Tate, fine. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that nearly killed me! I'm taking care of this! If I have to bring- I feel like I need to go get one of the priests, uh, little villagers from Zomberry Village and get down here, but I am taking care of this! This is- I know that my pigs are in there. Pigment Fern is somewhere in there. Oh my goodness, this is, oh, Tate, th that's just too much. All right, let's actually, I want the geode, I think, right here as something you can look at as you come down into the laboratory. That would probably be pretty amazing. Where should I put it? I think I'm going to put it inside, actually. <gasps> think about that. We could use this geode. Do I have more experiment 626s, by the way? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I didn't. What? I didn't do this. This isn't me. We're gonna we're gonna figure out what the mystery button is next time. We're not we're not messing with that right now. I don't wanna have I need armor. I I don't Ugh What's happening? I need to not turn my back on my laboratory for so long. Oh my gosh. Um 
actually, I kind of want to maybe put it right here. If only this wasn't quite the size it is. All right, pardon me, pardon me, experiments. Um, maybe in, maybe in my treasure room? I think it would be good in my treasure room. I'm trying to think if I do like a cool geode, it would be really fun if it segued from the really cool geode into pine. Are you having fun dancing on top of that sword into like a research room for geodes and crystals and things like that. So for now though, it can go right here. All right, watch out guys. Watch out. I don't know how heavy this is, so I don't want to hurt you. <gasps> you guys, you guys. This is stunning! This is, this is beautiful! <laughs> it is so beautiful that I actually had a hiccup for some reason and my connection timed out, but we're back again and the dogs. What are you guys doing with your tails? What has happened to your tails? I don't know what happened here with Pine and Tate's tails, but this is beautiful. This is truly gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just so blown away. This this geode. I want to see this geode in all of our cave systems. I want to see more varieties of it. This gives me so much inspiration for other things to make. This is so beautiful. I, I don't even know. Oh my goodness, Assistant Freezer Bunny, you startled the bedoodles out of me. I don't even know where to begin with being able to say thank you to everybody. Oh my gosh, or what the heck is going on with that mystery button? I love how just the animals themselves, certain friends who like to leave very vicious birthday gifts, certain friends who like to leave beautiful birthday gifts, the events, the things we have to do. Why are my puppy's tails? I need like a vet. I need to take you two to a vet. What's up with your tails? Oh my gosh, between the pranks and the things to do in the zoo and the gift giving and the projects we have. This world is amazing! I love it! I love it! I'm so happy! There's just so much going on! Oh, goodness. All right, so let's put all of these away. And then once again, the whole day has just kind of run through like sand between our fingers, or the sands of our lives, as they say. And I, I just, I'm so pleased. I am just so happy with all of it. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna put the herb seeds over in our little herb garden. Some sage and basil and dill and parsley. Can I get more seeds? Let's see, lemongrass. All right, I got a couple of mint seeds, woo! And then I'm gonna put the mints away, put the blueberries away, put this awesome thank you gift away. Whew. And then we will have covered quite a bit more of running around. It's another day of just having been at home. I'm sorry, guys. We will have the bigger adventures coming up in the future. And I picked up some celery somehow. And I do need to come in and do the summer garden. But it looks like that's just going to have to wait till tomorrow because we ran into so many different things. But holy moly, you guys. That geode. Jacob is I think he's worked I know for a fact Jacob has actually worked on like professional building crews, but I had no idea. I just I have a feeling he's going to be like some of our other builders. In fact, all of our other builders where there's just things that they do that make me need to go there and just sit and soak in the amazing inspiration and the sheer beauty of it. And then all of the sweet things that Kay has left for us. This world is just coming to life more and more and more. It's because of all of you and it's because of everybody here and all of your ideas. And I'm just so happy. Oh, hang in there, Siri. I told myself we already had our emotional ramble for the month, but man, this is amazing. All right. And the last thing we're going to do today is, uh, you know what? We're going to save the pantry for tomorrow, actually. I was going to go see how much food is in the pantry, but I want to go look at that geode again. I want to go look at that geode again. We've got to, at some point, bring a priest um, villager down here and do a little bit of fixing of my ground. A little bit of exercising. Er, er, what do you call it? Like, exercising? I think that's what it's called. To, like, get rid of the evil mojo that's down there. And for now, I'm just gonna... I kind of... I could just... I mean, what? Did, how do he explain it? They can help you to see the whole picture when challenges are tough and help you come to good decisions. Man, that's beautiful. And that's so beautiful. And the friendship and happiness and excitement of it all is so beautiful. Mm. And I'm so happy. <laughs> so we will be sharing more of the adventures and hopefully some fixed tails on my puppies. Tate, Pine, what happened to your tails? Iris has done this before. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> and we'll see if we can fix the puppies' tails and get the summer garden and all of the gifts going next time. And don't worry, Assistant Freezer Bunny, we will be working on the zoo. In fact, unfortunately, we're underground, so I can't use the map to show you guys. But we will be working on the zoo tons more in the future as well because there's so much to do in the zoo and there's just so many adventures to go on. And the chickens are walking in a line. That was amazing. Like a neat little tidy line to do an inspection of the the cryogenics lab. That was awesome. This is stunning. This is so stunning. Oh my gosh. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. <sighs>